All right, what's going on guys? It's better by the day. It's late. Um, this is from yesterday. I didn't do an intro or an outro yesterday. I had a really busy weekend, but that does not mean we didn't get the workout in. I will always get the workout in. I will always get the work done. Just sometimes the stuff that comes around that I just, I can't do when I get a little bit too busy. Um, I was busy all day yesterday, all day today. But I did what I had to do, so I'm filming this little intro right now uh, just to kind of walk things through it. It was back and legs, nothing better than a back and legs day. Um, that's where you get the, that's two huge muscle groups. That's a ton of work. That's a ton of fun. That's a ton of weight you're throwing around. Just in total, that's a big day. That's an important day. Just a lot of fun, especially if you're an athlete. It's probably going to be the one that serves you the best. Uh, back is always going to make a difference or I mean legs are always going to make a difference and back is something that's nice to throw in there um, I always preemptively say this but that was yesterday Saturday which is a long workout for me um, I do heavy squats heavy deadlifts man bang that bang that crap out uh, pretty much sit in the squat rack for like an hour and then I just go around and bounce around machines and stuff so the video isn't the whole entire workout it's kind of just some highlights what I can include um, and and pretty much all my videos are some of just the highlights but that day especially, it's hard to just video around all the machines, so I want to say that. And uh, there will be no pump check at the end of this video, but if you're new here, I want you to know that I usually do do that and show progress, but that's just not going to be in this video today because, like I said, that was yesterday. I had a really busy day. I couldn't get that part in. Uh, usually I do, though. This is one of the very rare occasions I don't, and I'm just going to keep trying to get bigger, better, faster, stronger, and help you guys do the same and have you guys help me do the same. So always, I appreciate you guys for watching. We'll get right into the workout. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Just keep working hard, keep getting better. We're all doing this together. We're all pushing hard. We all want to be great. So let's be great together. All right, I'll see you at the workout. All right, let's just get right into this. Break it down. Started it off with heavy deadlifts. Um, this is 475 or no, no, 455. Uh, moving decently clean, getting a little bounce off the ground. Um, I just have a lot of fun with deadlifts. I've always been pretty good at them. Uh, this angle isn't the best. My back is bent a little bit. And then right here, this is a 500 for a set of two. Um, you know, this rep looks like, oh, like, wow, you can kind of bounce it off the ground a little bit. I bounce kind of more just for fun as opposed to actual like practical performance. But that's just how I have fun with it, dude. I love doing heavy deadlifts. I think it's a great time. I have a really enjoyable time doing it. So that's why I do it that way, man. It's just, it's awesome. It gets me going. It gets me motivated. It gets me feeling good to be in the gym, which is what I love to do. And then right here, this is squats. Um, 335? Yeah, 335 for like a solid set of eight. Solid set of eight and then a couple partials to crank out at the end. Um, you guys know if you've been around here, I'm pretty big on partials. This is my heaviest set. I then drop down to 275 after this and usually try and get solid sets of 10 with a burnout at 225 or 245, kind of depending on how things are going. Um, the deadlifts were pretty heavy today and pretty exhausting. I dropped down the deadlifts then as well too. Um, but I was really happy with this set. Uh, the 335, that's a lot of weight. I'm, I was kind of just happy doing 315 for like around sets of 10. So I bumped it up to 335. The last couple reps aren't quite perfect as, as I get to around that 10 number, but you know, nothing really to complain about. I'm, I'm really happy with the direction that's moving in. Uh, it just feels good. Then moving into hip thrusts. If you're an athlete, please stop overlooking these. I was a baseball player. I didn't do these. I wish I did. Um, and also you just look good, dude. A lot of, a lot of males don't focus on their glutes and trust me, like whatever reason you're in the gym for power, performance, girls, whatever it is, I can guarantee you it helps mostly for sports, but dude, girls notice that stuff too. Um, I can't really speak from experience, but you know, I, I wish I could, but I've never had a girl come up to me and be like, Oh, like I like your glutes, but I've heard that's what they like. So I, I try to keep them in shape for partially that reason, but also for performance and other reasons. Then right here, moving into the machine rows. I'm not going to lie, dude. I thought this was going to be the perfect angle. Last week, I, I did this exercise and I zoomed out to like the point, whatever. And it was too far away. So I, I didn't zoom out as far down. I was like, oh, this is going to be the perfect angle. This is going to be awesome. And once again, what is the angles I always mess up? It's back and I messed up another back day angle, unfortunately. Total bummer, but still pretty good workout, pretty good exercise. I do really like this machine. I feel like I get kind of a good pull. I am throwing the weight a little bit here. Again, this is a top set, the most weight I do on the day. But um, yeah, pretty enjoyable. And oh my gosh, look at that quad action right there. Just Oh, and, and perfect. Rolling straight into quads, dude. Get some pretty good quad action there and then just roll straight into some more quads. Um, 
you know, the, the script writes itself in some cases. That, that was just perfect timing, looking good. But um, yeah, banging out the machines. I always include this machine because it's the best angle and I feel like the quads always look the best, but I, I just bang out machines after that. Four back and legs. I kind of got carried away talking about that back machine set. But um, yeah, I, for, for both of these after this, I, you know, super heavy squats, super heavy de deadlifts can be super taxing. So then I kind of just go around and try and burn out the muscle, get some good fluff work in, get some good blood flowing, and um, everything kind of just feels good after that. But uh, yeah, then moving here to some leg press. Again, feeling pretty good, kind of just throwing the weight around. Um, I went really hard on the squats and deadlifts, which again is my primary focus on this day. So I'm happy with that. And before moving in here, just have some fun, man. Throw some weight around. Throw, get a good pump going. Get the legs looking nice and good. And right here, dude, I love this calf machine. I love this angle. The light kind of comes in in the gym in the right way too, and uh, shines perfectly right there. So I don't know, man. I'm I, I've been liking this calf machine. I've been liking this angle, and I feel like that angle looks awesome. Look at that quad action, calf action. It all works out. And then on this day, as I go to burn out back. As I burn out calves, I go to burn out back a little bit too, and I kind of just do a bunch of flies. This is just one set. Uh, flying away into the night, I love doing flies. I think they're a big help. I just, I also just think they're a fun exercise, and it's one of those exercises I think just looks really cool, which is sometimes what you got to do at the gym, and then just burn it out with some more calves. But a great workout overall. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Usually we'll have a pump check, but I appreciate you guys.